All right, welcome to the character story episode. Um, we're gonna start with Dianthus, and then I will do Arya's story, and then we'll finish off with Unicorn. So, uh, this is gonna be kind of cut up. That's fine. Uh, we'll do Dianthus, and then go directly to Arya, and then we're just gonna. I'm not gonna start unicorns yet. We're just gonna do each character one by one. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh, talk to Dianthus about Emily, I suppose. Thank you for coming. Uh, is everything okay? I wanted to speak with you. Uh, to talk about the heart. To ask about the heart. Yeah. Hmm. I would say so. I would say so. Hey, no problem. Right. I'd like to help you around, uh, if you need it. The suggestion box. Oh, you don't want my help. Uh-huh. Hmm. Like a writing piece of writing or something? Yeah, Diantha seems like the type of person that would actually write a biography or autobiography. Or just like a historical record of what happened. Ah. Well, good luck with that. The long goodbye. There we go. And thus concludes Dianthus' story. Okay. Now let's head over and talk to uh, Arya. This shouldn't take too long. Northern Village Square. Okay, so we've established that you are not a ghost. No theory, just want to uh, ramble on. There's no way of explaining it through the laws of physics or biology. Simply impossible for a human body to awaken after all its functions have shut down. But you're alive. We've established that. You're right, I am still alive. I have to face that fact. Uh huh. On this part, the last time you we went to Castle of Illusions, about how it fell to the ground. You remember that time, right? Yeah? Yeah, the sea's light lit up. Mm -hmm. So you think it was Gaius's plan? waves of such high intensity that they couldn't be measured. Right? Oh, so... Okay. <laughs> right, and so uh, that's why this in particular is equipped with 
lots of different things. I know, that's just how desperate they must have been though. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh you were collapsed. You were in a suit of yeah, you were weirdly in an armor suit. Red E non this. That the something else happened? The some unexplained phenomenon happened around the same time of the crash that restored my consciousness. A weird, abnormal event to reach the planet's memory center. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Oh, and so you're thinking that, uh. And so you're thinking that by opening the portal to Lost Gaia, your soul found its way back to you? So an out-of-body experience. I suppose you could say that. You lost consciousness the moment you came in contact with the Red Queen. We know that the Red Queen can store memories, so the Red Queen took your consciousness. Yeah, you got sucked into the memory center and trapped there. But yeah, okay, I mean, that's a... That's a functional theory, like in terms of how it could work. Yeah, I, I mean, it makes some sort of sense. Right. And you'll figure it out one day. Hey, no problem. Inherit the stars. Alright. And that'll be it for now, I suppose. Um, so yeah, uh, next time... I'll skip over until I get Arya's letter and we will complete Arya's story. Alright, and we are here for Arya's next um, final uh, story. We're in Chitala, it is raining, which is a great day for to come to the beach. But, yeah. I always liked the view here from the first time I came. I was wondering why. Maybe it's because there's something nostalgic about looking out over the beautiful sea. Thanks for coming. I want to talk to you again about that theory. Uh-huh. Any progress or are you just... Nope. No, quite the opposite. I've decided to suspend my study into who I am for a while. I'm satisfied with the theory I came up with last time. Although in science, if you make a hypothesis, you have to back it up with proof. We need to aggregate too many theories. Today, science is not even close to ready. I haven't given up, though, just to make it clear. When I say science is not ready, I mean it in a positive way. Until now, I've been frantically trying to find answers to things that science couldn't explain. I've never had a positive view of the unknown. It usually makes me feel anxious. And I was quick to label anything unexplained as supernatural. But since I've been living here, I've come to realize that the universe is infinitely larger than we're aware of. So there is still room to grow. That's a nice way of putting it. I used to think that the world was a cold place. Because scientific conclusions are so solid, so cold, and inflexible. But I don't think the world really works like that. 
I imagine that the universe has its own intentions, its own warmth to it as well. In the same way my consciousness exists here right now, an abstract side to the universe must exist too. Much like fuzzy theory. I suppose you could call it a fuzzy space, as opposed to quantum theory or the measurement problem, for example. This is a little over my head, but sure. Humans will find a way into the realm of what can't be seen someday, I'll make sure of it. I mean, just take this planet, where we still know nothing about the star we're living on. True. Even though it might not happen straight away, because not even the science that we humans created gives answers immediately. We're always standing on shoulders of giants. We move ahead steadily, step by step, and that is and that steadiness is science's humanity's greatest weapon. As long as we continue in our pursuit, we're sure to find the truth of the universe someday. That's the romanticism of science. You know, Thumbs, I had one more idea about this whole investigation. About why my consciousness got trapped in the planet's memory center. Not a theory, just a feeling. And it's really nothing meaningful, but it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm sure that our consciousness was born out of... I have no idea what the final word of that is supposed to be. Also, it's not raining anymore, which sucks. I was gonna try fishing for, uh... I was gonna try to fish for the... Um... I was gonna try to fish for the rare fish here, but... Well, I guess not anymore. Might as well go to Unicorn Forest then and uh, start doing Unicorn Story. Oh, not Jade Forest. Also, my Tona Cuckoo is now fully upgraded and it not, can now swim. So we'll actually do that first, actually. Um, now that it can swim... I know there's something over here that I'm gonna want. There it is. And we should be able to take this, this thing. This one looks tough. Here I go. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Hang on. And that should do it. And there's the card key. I believe that is for the, uh... The one of the space stations up there, which we will do after Unicorn Story. Hey, Unicorn. Uh, actually, apparently Shrieka is coming to visit you. Hello. Uh-huh. What do you need to ask? Some curious rumors began spread from being calling themselves the King's Envoy. There will be a purge of the holy capital of the Seaslight Order and of those who threaten the interests of the royal family. 
Okay, the, we know the king's not real. A horse with a single horn. Aha. Uh -huh. Is the horse black? There is one more horse with a horn on its head. Uh, yeah, just to fill you in, there's another... There's another unicorn. Uh, okay, let's look for Monocross. Yeah, but why a royal purge? Okay, will do. The king's envoy. Oh, another queen's leaf. Okay, uh, let's also go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and also go get the the thing up there. I know what the card key's for, so uh Ooh, is it in the cradle or the space elevator? I forgot. I think it's in a cradle. Floor seven. No, it might not be here actually. Maybe? No, it's not here. It's in the... Oh, is it in the research facility then? Hang on, real quick. Is this all teleport points? Yeah, these are all teleport points. Hang on here. Is it maybe in the research facility then? It might be in the research facility. I know there's a place for uh, where we needed to swipe a card before. Uh, where is it though? Not anywhere here. Okay, then that means it has to be in the... Okay, well we needed to go to Abandoned Eden anyways. I have a... I have a fish for it. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Yeah, where do I have the scabbard? So let me come here. Northern Village Square. Hey, Arya, coming in. How are you doing? Oh, other room. Also not here, wait. Huh. Maybe she's out in town at this time? Hmm. Okay, then it has to be here. Oh, I should have gone to Abandon Eden first, whoops. Oh well, whatever. Uh, I think it's Seraph Memorial. Yes, there it is. So we go to the highest floor and then come down. Is everyone all right?
Ooh, wait, we're getting two of each now. Is that the mining knowledge that I got? No? Okay. Thought maybe it would be, but apparently not. Okay, let's go to the upper lever level. Come over this way. We do need to go... No, we're here. This is the place. The battle begins. An empty battery. Good. We needed to charge a little bit anyways. Ooh, more nitro pineapple seeds. Nice. Good. Uh, okay, there we go. Broken katana. I'm gonna switch classes real quick. Sprinting is faster. Over this way, over this way. Okay. All the way down. And then we'll head to the entrance. Okay, let's go find that guy b back there. The sword and scabbard look as good as new again. Keep it, it will draw out your ultimate power. Okay, cool. And there they go. Should I return Bell? No, I'm just I'm just gonna walk to Abandoned Eden. So yeah, that'll probably be I'll probably uh just skip over and next time uh we'll just continue on Unicorn's adventure. So this was a little sidetrack. Which is fine. Um I've basically been doing a lot of fishing and uh fishing and cooking. And this should get me... There we go. Alright, so yeah, I will see you in Unicorn's next uh, story. Alright, so we are in the Divine Sea Slight Cave because Unicorn believes that Monokaros is hiding out here. Uh, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and talk with Unicorn. See if we can find uh, Monocross somewhere here. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. So you, the search starts here. Uh huh. Sure. Oh, he's just gonna reveal himself. Yeah, uh, go ahead, Monokros, explain yourself. Uh, 
Aha. Right, it's still gonna be false. Yeah, what are you planning to do? Uh, no, we... I quite like the holy city of our genes, so... We're not crossed, you blather nonsense. Doing this will not bring you any sense of peace. The princess in my memory always wished for nothing but happiness for a common folk. Surely you understand that much if our memories are the same. No, I have not forgotten. Uh huh. So, uh, do we fight him? Okay, uh, I understand. I'll just sit back and watch you guys, I guess. I was not expecting him to just die. Even I cannot answer that. But listen well, Monocross. I believe there are things in this world worth protecting. Thumbs, do you think that this is the only path he and I have available to us? Is this all what awaits fabrications like us? Why did the omens make such miserable creations? We'll find an answer together. You may be right. I do not accept such a wretched conclusion. I will find another path and I will survive. In Monocross's memory, it's the least I can do. And there we go, two more. Opera Leaf and Philosopher's Stone Opera Leaf. Huh. Alright, so I will, uh... Huh, okay. Well, that'll be that for now. Um, and yeah, next time, Unicorn's penultimate story. Alright, Unicorn's penultimate episode. Uh, here we go. Let's talk to Unicorn. We're on the airship. He got a letter or something like that. So, Unicorn, what's this all about? I've been waiting. I received a strange letter. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean... Why not? I mean, at this point you have nothing left to lose. Yes, I mean, duh. Oh, we're going there straight away. I thought maybe he would like... Oh, I would like more time to prepare. I guess it's since it's almost the last one, um... You came. Aha. Uh -huh. hm, that was not I. It wasn't. You mean you don't, do not know, but you created us. Ah, now I see. So you both survived. Yes, although Monocross, not quite. That's a shame. Did you create them, or...? That's right, I constructed Unicorn and his compatriot, but only because I was following orders. Yes, uh, why?
Uh huh. I guess the first thing I should do here is apologize. I am sorry, Unicorn. I did not wish for you to bear the same fate. The same fate as me. Humans are our masters. They created us, programmed us to serve them. But by the time I was activated, there wasn't a single conscious human left. I couldn't help but think how cruel and strange it all was. But I had never met or seen one, but instead served some master of the void. My compatriots did not harbor any doubts towards their purpose, but I could not do the same. Aha. Is this what you call emptiness? I see. And so, when creating two of you, I give you memories of a lord of your own, the princess. So you would not feel the need... So you would not need to feel the emptiness that I did. The memories may not have been real, but I thought they would fill that void. But then I saw what happened at the holy capital, and I realized I had made a mistake. Yes, indeed. Did you not think it egotistical to try to use us to fill your own sense of emptiness? By all rights, I should probably want to impale you upon my horn. But for some reason, I feel no desire to do anything of the sort. All I feel is empty. I am sorry. I know. I understand your reasoning. It is in the past. You can continue to apologize, but I cannot forgive. Such a thing is not so simple. Your intentions may have been good, but there was no thought behind your accent. We suffer when others act without due consideration. That is a fact of life. However, complaining after the fact may make me feel better, but it has no meaning. You must bear your own punishment, and I will consider the future. Uh, so will you delete your memories? That is a good question. Now that everything is clear, I have all I need to make an informed decision, and yet... I still have no clue as to what I should do. Omen, I would like to ask you one more question. This emptiness you felt, it is not a commonly felt by other omens, correct? That's right. That is a difficult question to answer, yeah. Uh, but for you to ask out of every anyone, I want to give as an accurate an answer as possible. Hmm. I thought I wanted to consider this feeling of emptiness deeper instead of just erase it. To think about what it means to serve under humanity. That would probably be the most human-like way to put it into words. I see. I stand by what I said about not being able to forgive you, but I do owe you a debt of gratitude. You, you do? The memories you gave me were so beautiful and precious that I struggled over whether to keep them or not. The memories may be fake, but I cannot see them as being without worth. Anyway, thank you for speaking with me today, Omen. Oh, Unicorn. I am glad one good thing could come from this. Yes, we shall. Until we meet again. And there we go. Are we in the Jade Forest? I assume that's where we are. Looks like Jade Forest. Wise Man's Root Pyro Liquid at this point. Not super necessary items, but okay. I'll take it. Is my hey, Dianthus. It has finally begun. Okay. Alright, so next time, Unicorn's final story. And then we can probably end the episode there. Alright, until next time. Alright, and we are back with the final part of Unicorn Story. We're just meeting with him in the forest as he's gonna talk to us about the future. Right? Oh no, really? I totally didn't see that coming. Are you gonna erase your memories then? Oh, never mind, you're not gonna erase your memories. Uh huh. That is the current state of mind. I understand that humanity is real and that Princess Little is not. Right, okay. 
Doing so would be the same as admitting there was never any value behind her remarks or her views. Hmm. No, yeah, that's fair. Even without her, your hearts are one. You've hit the nail on the head. She lives on within the power of my imagination. Much in the same way unicorns are brought to life in the imaginations of human beings. For the sake of precious fairy tales... Okay. Right. I believe in you, unicorn. You do you. Well, I'm glad I could help, although I'm still not your servant. He did choose his path. Uh huh, no problem. The third installment. Wait, what happened? Yeah, what, what? what's the first and second? Uh. Yeah, I want to ride on your back. Uh, no, I'm going home. I'm going home. Really? That's that's the final reward? One Philosopher's Stone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, and that is it for all of the character stories. We have now completed every single one. you were coming back I am coming back because uh, with that being done I believe we can claim well probably yep there it is pop and bop. Whoa. is there anything you can't do all right so that is it um I did figure out what this is I did look it up uh, and so I will have an episode soon because quietus is almost here where we are going to dive into the Caranoid for the first time. Uh, I don't know how I missed it, honestly. I should have known. I should have known that well was something. But uh, yeah, next time we will uh, dive into the Caranoid. And um, after that... We'll see after that. Um, but for now, this will be it for this episode. And I will see you in the next one.